Hi, welcome to educator.com. In today's lesson, we're going to be covering part two of setting up the presentation files that we covered um, as far as setting up how everything gets shown as far as the shopping cart and just finish up the confirmation page that we're going to um, be editing now. So particularly, we're going to be editing the order form, uh, the show cart and confirmation form. So these are the, the last of the files of the, that the customer sees um, as they're about to check out. They're going to put all their information in. Um, you want it to look uh, presentable and still have that same feel. You don't want it to kind of look. Last week I, or last lesson I did show that we did have uh, one of the files when it didn't have any style on it and it just looked like a blank white uh, page with just some of the um, presets that Cart Reaver did. Well that's kind of uh, what we don't want to happen. So we have to still stylize these ones as well, because if not, it will look just like that. I mean, it could still work, but it's not going to be as presentable. So let's go back um, in and just kind of go a quick refresher of what the, um, the original index page. So this one is the only page we're going to uh, basically save for last, um, because it's really the, the last page um, that we want to affect, and then we're going to take all this code out and finish it up, okay? but. We're, but again, that's going to be in the other lesson to kind of wrap this thing up. What we want to do is get to how these products show. Um, we, we set up these files, and this might look a little different from last time because actually there was, a, there was some, those little bugs that we kept finding. I told you that we're going to start editing. Um, I did find um, one, and I wanted to show what this looks like, why this was happening. So in the code here, we go to the order forms here. This code is the same code we used in the previous. It's a lot of copy, copy paste. So I'm going to show you once one of the, um, the final document and confirmation. I'm going to show you basically how to just copy and paste the stuff in, just how it works, um, so you can kind of see it. But I did want to show you here um, one of the reasons why the code wasn't displaying properly earlier was this little uh, error right here. Um, Occasionally, sometimes it will ask you if it's in a different folder. Um, it gets a little bit deeper in the root of the folders. Um, you can put this dot dot forward slash to actually display. Um, to, it just basically tells it that there's another folder, another uh, directory to go into. Um, without it, it's still searching for it. And it's like missing it. It can't quite understand why it's not seeing it. So just to kind of show you what it could look like, um, if I go back to um, our results, to show you what some of the differences are right here. Okay, so if I refresh this, you can kind of see why um, it was a little bit out of place because there was no style into it. Um, it didn't quite have that, that feel. It was kind of like all over the place. Well, now this is what we, we've done. We've, we went back in um, and just I just went back and just noticed it, why I was missing. Um, and when I put it back in, it actually corrects it. So let me put this all back in. So each of these files will have to have it. So as we go to the next file, we shouldn't have this issue. It's actually all be formatted um, the way we want it to be formatted. Okay. Oops. Dot forward slash. Okay. All right. So with this form, we did the same exact thing. Um, we went through and corrected. All right, I actually copied and pasted all this stuff right back in that we did before, keeping everything exactly the same because it's really the same. There's nothing, again, nothing really changes. Uh, the functionality is already built into the, their presentation file pages that they already set up, that Cart Reaver uh, set up. So there's really not much for you to do other than just make sure you, everything's in its right spot and it all makes sense, okay? So if I go back down, um, I've already set this one up. So if we want to just see what this looks like, uh, we can do that. So let um, me refresh this. So we're back in business. Um, and we can still change all this. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you in a bit how to change this, uh, the pricing. Um, so you can go back and I'm going to show you exactly how to change that so it makes sense and it doesn't just look like a bunch of number. Um, it should actually not look like that at all. But again, I explained about the servers last time and what that, they're just going to uh, have a certain type of code and it'll make sense in a second when I show you. 
Um, with this here, if I want to go in, um, I'm going to go select, this is our um, details page. So if I want to add one to cart, it's going to put one in there. So I got two in cart. You can go ahead and select one um, and just update it. It'll do that. Um, or you can select the remove and, it'll, and update it and it'll take it off. But here is going to give you all this information. Here's that little uh, a promo code that's already there. So this is the code that they would see, they put in there, um, and then they, they would apply the discount. The discount field would actually show right here if you put one in. Okay. But you have the option to continue shopping or just check out, kind of like a normal, uh, normal thing here. So if I go in, now here um, with the login page, uh, this is, they're connected. So what Cartweaver has done is they, they put them together and without the, the login, um, that's fine. As a new user, I'm gonna go in and actually create one and I'll show you how you can kind of go in and out. Um, so it keeps all your information. So it's gonna be, it's gonna store all your information until their, until their database um, into it so that you, next time you can pull it up, you can see your order history and maybe reorder the same things over and over. Okay, so right now it's gonna ask for all this information um, and we can go right in and change all of it now. Okay, so we have that file. So actually, let me let me go ahead and change the uh, confirmation page first. Then I'll go in and I'll, and I'll show you how to create the login and how it works. And um, it's pretty simple, pretty basic uh, uh, stuff here. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to minimize this.